over under time. That doesn't mean that. Listen, ga gas is five dollars a gallon. We gotta get our money's worth. Yeah. Over <laughs> People are like, two episodes in the car. I'm like, well, the Patreon mic is right down there. <laughs> Go ahead, guys. Hit that link up. All right, and if you guys want, you can put your, you know, the collection of things that we talk about for the over under today. You can put that in the uh, your guys' guesses. Over yeah, in the comment section. Yes. Yeah, right below. Because Paul will respond to all of them. Sure do. Sure does. Sure do. All right. Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. Uh, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Um, No, you can go first. Okay. All right. Let me, let me see here. Let me That's, see. Yeah, I like over under. So way, way too early over under. The way too way early too over, early under. over so under. So we're talking about Buffalo Bills statistics and and and, mm -hmm. and, um, and and the likes. Okay. Over under Ed Oliver ten sacks. Oh, under big time under. What you think with Miller big there? Time under. He's not gonna get there. Big time under. Ooh. Yeah, big time under. Yourself. <laughs> yeah, big time under. I think he gets to six. He gets to six. Six, that's it? With the rot not that rotation. rotation. I mean, they spent a lot of money on that de on that defensive tackle position. They did. And the reason they spent a lot of money on that defensive tackle position is, yeah, Ed's contract's coming up. Yes. Right? That fifth-year option, they picked it up. That's great, right? He's got this year, he's got next year. But you got to figure out what you're going to do. And the guys that they sign are far less expensive than Ed. So... Mm -hmm. I think you look at Ed as saying, listen, we want Ed fresh for 12 through, you know, 12 through 19, games 12 through 19. Mm -hmm. We don't need Ed fresh games 1 through one, 1 through 11. We got settle. That's fine. You know, we've got, we've got these other guys we signed. Let's burn <laughs> that candle down and then let's, let's. Oh, okay. add, let's add that dynamic in the so middle. You're putting of the him in the back pocket. I'm right? putting, yeah, I'm putting okay. that in the back pocket. Oh, okay. yeah. So that's why I get. That's why I'm at. I think I get six. Let's see here. Over under Gabe Davis, a hundred uh, targets. I'm not talking receptions. I'm just talking mm -hmm. targets. Had I asked this question last year, right? Might have been different. Might have been different. But now we saw what happened. The Easily over. Easily over. Easily over. Really? Easily. I say, obviously with the emergence of Davis now, people, you know. When we say the emergence, it was just, it was just the playoffs. It was just the playoffs. No, but he, <laughs> it was but just you, the playoffs. you got to realize a lot of that stuff was happening already. You know, yeah. a lot of these sideline catches that he used to make and the, the times that he would get open. You don't think of him as a burner, but he, run, like we, we used to say all the time. He runs the same route tree as John Brown. He he stretches the field, but just differently than John Brown because of his size and his athleticism. He's right. able to go up and do different things, whereas John Brown would just outrun you. Right. So you start to look at that, the addition of Crowder, they know they had to get other weapons in there as far as, you know, okay, so if you're one of those people that say, okay, Crowder just repl replaces Beasley. Okay, Beasley was hurt in and out of the lineup. Davis had to step up. Now you added more athleticism to the offensive line uh, or to the to the offensive uh, tight end <clears throat> tight end room with OJ Howard, who's a freak. We both love him. Um, yeah. All of that will open up things for um, Davis, and I think that he he'll, he'll get easily hundred. What is that? What is that like five five a game? You're the math guy. You tell me five a game. Yeah, I think so. Thirty-five, seven. Yeah, about five a game. About six a game. Yeah, six targets. You don't think he's gonna be targeted at least once a quarter? I look at it this way, right? I know you I love how you break that down. <laughs> like, oh, it's just once a quarter. Oh, yeah, oh, a thousand rushing yards. That's only four yards, uh, four yards of possession. 58, 58, <laughs> it's fifty eight point eight. Thousand yard rushing yard, because seventeen game season though. Yeah. Now it's not as impressive. Yeah. yeah, now it's not as impressive. Uh, either way, um, I know here's here's why I asked that question, right? Yeah. There's a lot of miles to like there are only really one football on that field. Right. And, you know, people talk about Dawson Knox, but Dawson Knox wasn't a target hog, right? 
He, so. he was effectively used. When he was targeted, it was effective, right? Yeah. O.J. Howard, no idea what's going to happen there. He's never really seen a season where he got a ton of targets. No. Jamison Crowder used to be a number one not too long ago. Diggs is going to expect, you know, 180 targets. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. there's guys, there's mouths to feed. You have Cook now. All right, what, is, what, is, what does that mean? Like, there's a lot of mouths to feed. So, that's why I ask, you know, Davis, Yeah, we're judging this off just the playoffs. Yeah, but here's the, here's the thing that I, I like about it. All those, uh, you say there's a lot of mouths to feed, there's only one football, this and that. This forces Josh Allen to develop even more as a cornerback. I know I'm taking the side step here. It's because he doesn't always have to force the ball now to Diggs. Yeah. Where he, that first year, oh, yeah. some of that was painful. Absolutely. Even though they did very, very well. Some of those were like, dudes, that mm-hmm. don't force it in there. Right. Now having all these other weapons there, right, will op- number one will open up digs more, mm-hmm. and it, it will stop him from trying to force it to all the. Yep, I'm down. I'm down. Uh, Poyer and Hyde. Poyer and Hyde. Ten combined picks. <laughs> That's a tough one. I'm. I'm, I'm I'm loving number 10 today. Because that's a tough one. That I'm going to go... I'm going to go under. I'm going to go under. I like it. The Bills have had like this ebb and flow for when they generate turnovers. Right? Yes. So they have a, a year where they generate a ton of turnovers, and then the next year it's it's back down again. And then they, they're, yeah. like, they're like the Panthers were with their record. You know? Like <laughs> back when they drafted Cam Newton, it's up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, I think... Teams are teams are afraid to throw against Buffalo. I think they will. Yes. They're afraid to throw against Buffalo. I'm, I'm interested to see your boy Dane Jackson how he does. In, it's sort of the starting lineup just for six games though. Bradbury doesn't have a team yet, does he? He sure doesn't. Bradbury got Bradbury mm. got cut. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, so but you know he's, he's looking at cost him, he's right? looking at that Gilmore deal, going. That's my guy. <laughs> what he got? That's what I'm gonna get. <laughs> Because even Gilmore, even even broke ass old Gilmore got a huge payday, huge payday for a guy who should be making like three million dollars a year. Even broke Gilmore got broke ass old Gilmore, his old head, (laughs) old ass head. I love it. James Cook, seven hundred all purpose yards. All purpose over. Over 700 Over. all-purpose yards? Over. What, you think he's returning kicks? <laughs> he might. <laughs> no, I, I will say this. Um, I think that he will emerge. I mean, he, we, we know the pedigree the kid has. I think he will emerge to end up being uh, the, the number two coming out of camp over Moss. And the Buffalo Bills will see what's going on with that position and maybe, you know, ship Moss off to another maybe – I don't know. And not nothing against Zach Someone. Moss. He's done nothing wrong. No, no, no. He hasn't. Yeah, but wrong. it's it's one of those things where they did they did back to back years where they drafted a running back, and we, we that year with Epineza and Moss, you know what we would have done. Yeah. You no, know, we we would yeah. package those bad boys up and moved up and got Taylor. Taylor. But never Absolutely. mind. That's 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 in the past. Yeah. Point is, I just think that he offers a more dynamic role to the to the to the team, and there's going to be times where the Buffalo Bills, I think, will have. They don't have an easy schedule, but no. I think they're going to have comfortable leads in games where he's going to end up getting like 100 yards mm-hmm. garbage time, <clears throat> and that may happen. You know what I mean? The one thing I will say about the Bills' schedule, just as a sidestep, yeah. is that there's no stretches of the schedule where you look and it's brutal. I right? think the whole schedule is brutal. Oh, no. I mean, the opponents are brutal. I agree oh, yeah. there, but I'm talking about the layout oh, of the schedule. Yeah. Like, yeah. The, the, like they're playing in L.A., and then they don't play. That's on a Thursday, and then they, they play the Titans at home on Monday. Like, they got all that time. Yeah. You know, like, their schedule is very opportunistic for them. Like, there's no bad stretches from a scheduling standpoint where they got to be in L.A. this week and then they got to be in New York the following, you know. We used to get so mad that I think it was two, three years ago, I think they had three consecutive opponents that played on the previous Thursday. That had ten days to prepare for the Bills. Yeah, like, that's exactly ridiculous. right. That's what I'm saying. Is there, there no, there's none, none of that. that. Okay, yeah, there's none of that. None right. of that nonsense, which is good. Dane Jackson, over. <laughs> 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 
and Dane Jackson over under seven starts? Um, it's, it'll be under. You think so? Yeah, okay. I think I think Trey will be back. Okay, I think Trey will be back. All right, that was easy. I mean, that's yeah, just... I think Trey will be back. Uh, that's that's, you know, I think he'll be back by October. Why do I still let, like? I know <clears throat> this is why we. This is why you know, a lot of people should not listen to us. Yeah, I said you heard it right. How many times do we want to move? Tremaine Edmonds, the outside linebacker. Deion Dawkins, the guard. Dane Jackson, the slot corner. Like, we want to move everyone everywhere. That's it. Yep. Sure Mulatto is. to safety. Yep. <laughs> Do not listen to us. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. Von Miller. Oh, Christ. Why do you got to pick a guy that hasn't under, been in a jersey yet? Over under 13 games played. Under. You think he plays under 13 games? Yes. yes. You know what? I agree with you here. <laughs> I agree. Like, you just spent a ton of money on a guy. Like, everybody thinks that everybody's treating him like he's this 27-year-old superstar. And the fact is, Von Miller, two seasons ago, people were like, oh, we're, we're going to try and figure out the best thing so he can end his career on a winning team. Mm -hmm. You know, like it was that was just two seasons ago. People were feeling bad that his career was coming to an end and he'd been on a terrible team for the last four seasons <laughs> like people are trying to do him favors getting him to a team that would win right yeah. and then he goes and wins a super bowl and dominates for eight weeks out of the season just yes. dominates and now the bills friend the bills future is tied to him for the next four seasons yeah and uh i mean obviously we had our or at least i had my opinion of why he signed to buffalo and why he said because there are some great edge rushers and sack artists in the NFL. Very few of them have won with three separate teams. A lot of them have won with two. You got Charles Haley. You know what I mean? He, so, Bob Miller, Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. Excellent player. Yep. But if he were, he wins a Super Bowl ring with three different teams, he totally separates himself. Yeah, different story. Teams. And Buffalo was the best place for him to do that. But I don't think he's... No, but I think there's going to be some games where he'll, he may tweak this and that. There's a reason why Buffalo has... They loaded up the defensive line. Not only the interior the exterior right yeah so i think that's that's one of those things where um yeah i just don't think he'll it's not even a knock i'm not even trying to the guy's 30 what 33 34 josh allen 4700 passing yards ready no whammy no whammy no whammy no whammy over over five g's baby that wrong name. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets the 5,000 faster? Alan or us? <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. Wow, five? Yeah, dude, look at the weapons. Look at the weapons. You did, like, you didn't bring James Cook here to run. Right, that's one. Uh, OJ Howard has never seen a season with a ton of targets. Maybe, you know, if OJ Howard sees 45, 50 targets, right? Mm -hmm. Those are easy yards for him. Like in this offense, those are easy yards. Dawson Knox will pick up his 60 to 70. Diggs will get 140 to 150 targets. You're assuming Gabe Davis is, according to you, going to get over 100 targets. That's fine. Right. I mean, yeah. I'm never wrong. Either. Yeah, I'm never, ever wrong. Jameson Crowder, if just long as he can stay off IR, pick up 80 targets. Like, I just don't see a way that Buffalo's interested in running the football at all. Like, I just don't. Except with him. And, and really, that's just to make him a more effective passer, right? Because yeah. it limits defenses. Like, people complain, oh, Allen runs too much. And one of the reasons Allen is the effective passer that he is is because you got to keep a hat on him at all times. You can't just go get him. He yeah. just he eludes that. I mean, we've all, we've we've even made common um, comparisons on this channel with, with Allen to, to Allen to Newton. Mm -hmm. can, can we just – can we can we have an asterisk next to that, please, and just say, <clears throat> listen, okay, Allen – you don't want him to turn into Newton. I don't want him to turn into Newton either. But let's just let's not mistake ourselves to thinking that Newton ever had the accuracy or arm that Allen has. Please. So, but there are some weird parallels. There are there are a lot. There are, there are a lot parallels. of parallels. Like because somebody commented on this on our Twitter handle. Oh yeah, the amount of hits that he takes in the first like four years of his career. Yeah. So like that. yeah, that's what it was. But that's not that's not where this went. So I pulled up all of. Uh, his stats. A few moments later. Okay, so I can't find the tweet, but it's it's out here in the Twitterverse somewhere. 
It was, forgive me, it was on a thread of uh, a tweet that got 100, uh, 1,236 likes. So forgive me while I can't find this. That's insane. You yeah, broke that Twitter. Was, well, I mean, from, from our standpoint, yes, I broke Twitter. Um, but uh, long story short, what it ultimately was, um, was the, uh, the passing stats are actually are not too dissimilar as far as yards between Newton and Allen. Right now? Right in now, the first four years, okay. in the first four years. And the run stats aren't all that dissimilar either. The difference is Allen scored an incredible amount more touchdowns, just both passing and rushing, and the turnover numbers are significantly lower. And it knew through uh, a ton more interceptions than Allen has, right? So that, but that's really the difference. Other than that, it, like it, the numbers are pretty close. Yeah. Like they're they're pretty close. You safe, guys.